so let's do a quick recap of whatever we did just now so as you can see here you know when you type docker run minus itd or docker attach or whatever so uh, what it does is not in the case of docker attach but in the case of docker exec or docker run what it does is it invokes the docker daemon process through a http post request and then point called is slash container slash create and this is a post request because it creates the docker container at the end so the intent is to create a container if it's not present and then launch it and in case the image for that particular container is not present so it does a pull from the docker hub using http get request and then it brings the image contents layer by layer and stores it in the lo local repository and then it invokes container D. Container D will have the namespaces, the C groups defined. Namespaces are nothing but the uh, resources that you can optimize or you can uh, tailor for a particular container. And C groups are nothing but the limits or restrictions that you impose on a uh, container. Container D is the manager, which basically manages all the containers that are created in the system. Container D, instead of interacting directly with the container creator program, which is run C, instead of doing that, it does through a shim. So shim is a daemon process that sits between container D and run C. And the role of shim is to survive, you know, terminal closures, uh, Docker crashes, or, you know, or, you know, system shutdown. In the whole process, uh, when the container comes up, uh, it is attached to the shim directly and it ensures that we do not lose the container or shut the container down in any any of the circumstances unless and if the user intentionally shuts the container. And run C is an independent program. We saw it just a while back. So run C is just like Docker. You can run it as an executable. And that is the program which actually takes these namespaces and C groups constraints and then applies those constraints and creates a process on the host machine or on the guest machine. Thank you for listening.